Gemini, this is what happened in the next 48 hours for January the 7th through January the 8th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for January the 7th through January the 8th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for January the 7th through January the 8th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Gemini for January the 7th through January the 8th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Gemini, Gemini, these are your cards, honey. So, Gemini, you have the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' as a relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted, looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far, trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest, you're taking stock of you guys' relationship, assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account, looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So listen, Gemini, you could be waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Gemini. It is clarified with the queen of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Gemini. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Gemini. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Gemini. It is clarified with you, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, the King of Swords. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Gemini, this is you. Clarify the King of Swords for Gemini. Clarify the King of Swords for Gemini. What about Gemini? What about Gemini? Clarify the King of Swords for Gemini. It is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Gemini, listen, you can tell me there was some immature, premature communication had here. Or you went looking and spying, researching. Clarify the page of swords for Gemini. Clarify the page of swords for Gemini. Clarify the page of swords for Gemini. It is clarified with the emperor. 
could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. Clarify the emperor for Gemini. Clarify the emperor for Gemini. Clarify the emperor for Gemini. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Now listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're wanting to initiate something to bring forth some coins here, maybe with work or business or a partnership with work or business. Maybe you're looking into it, needing to make a decision concerning it. You can tell me that you and this Taurus, this, I'm sorry, this Aries, this Taurus, this spouse, this parent of your child, someone you work with or do business with here, you guys could have had some type of heated discussion or argument, some immature, premature communication, and you're needing to make a decision on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship or this work situation with this person. Gemini, you have the six of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Gemini, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here, or you're telling me that someone was giving more, someone else giving to two. Clarify the six of pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the six of pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the six of pentacles for Gemini. It is clarified with the page of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. Clarify the page of cups for Gemini. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. You know what? Someone could be trying to give you something here, trying to sweeten a deal to keep you from leaving, okay? Because you're at a place where you may be wanting to look for something else. You could also tell me that someone is coming in to apologize and giving the other something, you know, maybe a token of love here so that we can put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. 
Or you're telling me that we found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love. They started a passionate new beginning with someone else. They were giving more somewhere else, giving to two. And this is the reason why you're questioning whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Or whether or not you just want to move out, move on, and move away from it. Gemini, you have the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you could be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So listen, Gemini, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from their past is in the picture. Someone from your past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the Six of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the Six. Okay, just popping out. Clarify the Six of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the Six of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the Six of Cups for Gemini. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Gemini, listen, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally. But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So listen, you could be walking away or returning. Now listen, you can tell me because of something that happened in the past, you're wanting to walk away. You can tell me because someone from their past is in the picture, you're wanting to walk away. However, are you returning and reuniting here with this person? Are they coming in trying to romance the stone and give you a wand here? And you're thinking about it. You have the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Gemini, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coins, saving your money, being stingy. Or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Gemini. It is clarified with the Three of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Gemini, listen, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration or there's a third party. You know, you may have another agreement here for work or business and you're keeping it close to your chest here. You know, could also be work or business that's trying to sweet talk you or keep you from leaving and you may be closed off to them, okay? You may, it could also be about working things out in this relationship and maybe you're closed off here. Gemini, you have the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Gemini. Clarify the moon. For Gemini, clarify the moon. For Gemini, 
it is clarified with the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn this king is usually stable rooted grounded traditional believes in the institution of marriage and family someone who is good with managing finances and material resources this could be a business owner ceo independent contractor manager could be dealing with taurus virgo capricorn or someone with earth prominent in their charts However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Gemini. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Gemini, it is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. Could be dealing with a Sag. But you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarified temperance. For Gemini, clarified temperance. For Gemini, clarified temperance. For Gemini... It is clarified with the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So listen, Gemini, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Now listen, you know, very well could tell me that you're using your intuition concerning some type of compromise and negotiations, dealing with your financial stability. Because it very well could be that you're leaving one employer and going to the other. You may have um, achieved another contract somewhere that you're keeping close to your chest here. However, you can tell me that you're using your intuition about commitment. Is this person coming in, giving you bling, bling, shiny thing, causing you to return here, speaking on commitment, and you're holding back, you're thinking about it. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Gemini. Now, this is just additional messages here. And it says, access granted, social media, fake profile, hiding. Access granted, social media, fake profile, hiding. Hmm. Someone's looking here. Someone's spying here. 007 undercover, cloak and dagger. What else for Gemini? And it says, interlude, pause, timing factor. Interlude, pause, timing factor. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Gemini, this is what happened in the next 48 hours for January the 7th through January the 8th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.